Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's weekly free instant tournament on BBO to see what hints we can pick up about how you should think about playing a hand. Um, remember that um, the robot, you're guaranteed to have um, the best hand at the table now, almost. You, nobody's got more points than you. So the ro one of the robots might have the same number of points, um, but nobody has more. Um, so you have to, you can take that into consideration when planning what to bid and play, um, which is perhaps not like normal bridge, but it's just an, an extra bit of deduction that you can make. So we start off with a not very interesting 13 points. Um, the robot plays strong no trump five card majors, so we can't open one heart or one no trump. So we have to open our better minor one diamond. And the opponents come in with a heart and then a spade. So they don't have a fit. Doesn't look like we have a fit. Looks like we might be defending this hand. Um, I've got no reason to encourage my partner to support anything other than diamonds. I don't want partner to bid clubs. So I'm going to have to pass here and see what happens. I think I might get passed out. Oh no, my partner has woken up and bid clubs. They didn't bid clubs straight away because that would have promised um, 11 or so points. So they've got less than that, but they've got plenty of clubs, we hope. We hope they've got six for this bid. Um, I really think they ought to. I don't think they ought to be bidding two clubs with five. Um, just looking at where we are, they could have supported diamonds, even though they, I might only have three. Um, so hearts a bit on this side. So both these hands are short of hearts. Um, so the cards don't lie well for us. Um, the ace here is here and there. Heart on us are placed after the ace. So they're lying good. We certainly don't want to get any higher. And we'll let North play the hand in two clubs unless that drives them up to two spades. No, no, they're going to try my diamonds. Oh, and my partner still thinks he wants to bid the clubs. Well, I'm still passing. I'd have let them play in diamonds. Right. So, as you recall, we'll swap over positions. Um, and I'm now playing the north hand, the robots here in the south hand, and is the dummy. So this is the hand that the opponents can see. This is the concealed hand. And if you recall, it was west to bid hearts, east to bid spades. So that wasn't look good for the ace of spades. Is sit, almost certainly sat over that king queen. Remember, this hand's shown five hearts. I've got four. Dummy's got three. If you remember the shapes that could make up 13 cards, five, four, three, one. So the robot's got this East robot's got one heart. This is the two. So if I play low, West will win and can play another heart back and East can rough. As expected, um, the robot had six clubs, but not too much else. It's only got one diamond. So we don't, looking at it from the robot's point of view, we have two heart losers, no diamond losers, one club loser, uh, and probably two spade losers. We need to try and produce an end play. This hand bid diamonds as well. So um, as well as hearts. So it could be five, five in diamonds and hearts. Uh, we know they've only got five hearts because there's only five hearts left that we haven't seen. So let's take the ace of hearts. I'm ducking that. And encourages. I'm not going to rough anything in my hand. I can see this. I really want to stop them getting a cross rough going. So I'm going to start off by drawing trumps as much as I can. Here comes the two heart winners. Diamonds being thrown. So this hand may be able. If this hand had five diamonds, this would have only had three. Another heart, well, 
these are all equal. So I can rough high. There goes the last diamond, but that has made my queen of diamonds good once I've drawn trumps, but I don't have an entry to this hand. Here's the difficulty. So we're pretty sure that this hand started off with three diamonds to the king. Um, therefore, this hand started off with five diamonds to the jack and five hearts. Um, we've seen one club so far. So, and this one only bid spades once, so it doesn't look like um, they had seven of them. You see, we have six between our two hands, so they probably only had six. This had, probably has one spade and two clubs, but they might have two spades and one club. Um, so we had eight clubs between us. So this hand has three or four clubs. So actually drawing trumps is going to be quite difficult, um, especially as they're locked. Um, But I've probably got no choice now. I really need something nice to happen with the Jack of Spades. To, um, right, so this hand had two spades and one club, and this hand had four clubs. So, but the good news is they've only got clubs and spades left. So I expect they're good enough that when I play a spade to the king, they're not going to well they can win it and exit with a club and make their jack of spades at the end um i don't think there's no point to be leading a diamond and letting them rough no nope. i'm going to play my two of spades yeah hope that jack doubleton of spades there the king I win the ace so i should exit the club And I've got one more club in their hand, so I'm going to draw that. Let's throw another diamond. The ten of I can't play the ten of clubs. No. So I'm going to play the queen, win the queen of diamonds. That one's going to throw this a spade away. The, it's the nine is not good. Um, there's no point in me playing that. They do play the jack, but they didn't have to. If I had played the ace, they wouldn't have played the jack. So I've just got to hope that there's a jack of spades in this hand. No, so I'm going one off. So they had the three of diamonds there. There we go. And it's minus 50, 64%. So robots actually. So that's pretty standard. And other people went two off or three off. So the robots were always bidding that. Way. Right. Back to board two. Eight and five. Sorry, four and five is nine. That's eleven. And that's another. So it's another very flattish 13, which in Akol we'd be opening one no trump. But we get to do our better minor. One spade. Now we can bid. One no trump, show 12 to 14 points and a flattish hand without any particular support for spades. And the robot passes. So this is one of those hands which, if you were playing teams, imps would be boring. You'd just be playing it as quick as you could to get onto something more interesting. But here at match points, um, 
one no trump is every single trick is worth a lot of match points um you'll see that they've got eight opposite 13 21 so i expect some people will be making six tricks some will be making seven and some will be making eight and there'll be a big difference in the scores between them so that's what we need to do the robots led two normally they lead short suits especially when it's been bid there so is this could be a singleton or maybe they've led from a four card suit um we're going to find out when we play low um we haven't bid hearts Nobody bid hearts, and so they might well have led hearts if they'd had the queen. So I'm attempting to place the queen in the east hand at this point. We've got four card club fit. Obviously, diamonds are very dangerous. Um, so we'll play low and see what happens on this spade. I'm going to play the king or the jack underneath the ace. I should have decided that before I played from dummy. Um, if I'm playing real people, but the robots don't know whether I've hesitated or not. So, um, where am I more likely to need the entry? I'm more likely to want to lead from, I think I'm going to play the king underneath the ace. Maybe that makes it more likely that the robot can. No, it doesn't. The Jack of Diamonds. Well, I don't believe it's under lead from Ace King. Um, somebody's got a long diamond suit. So we're going to get to a position. We're going to lose quite a few diamonds here. But hopefully we'll learn a bit about the shape of the hand and be able to work out um, who to play for that. But we may well lose that spade, five diamonds, and the Ace of Clubs before we get to play a card. All right, so what could the diamond position be? We've led the jack with it. See the 10 in dummy. Um, I'm inclined to try and play this hand for three to the ace king or king and duck this one and hope that the diamonds get blocked. They may be 4-4, four, four, in which case the king, everything is pointing. Oh, and the ace is here as well. Right. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to throw a club from dummy for the moment because the nine of spades is a threat. We need to keep the hearts there. All right, so it does look as though clubs were 4-4. Four, four. Sorry, diamonds were 4-4. Four, four. So I really don't want to throw anything other than a club from dummy. What, but what am I going to throw from my hand? I suppose I'm going to throw a club as well. Um, so this hand's got on lead. Probably play a spade because that's the safest exit card. I could throw the jack of spades away so that... Um, Playing a spade would give me my two, still give me my two spade trips, but they'd then probably face something else. I'm going to throw the six of clubs. But spade becomes a safe exit. Right. Well, I'm going to keep as many threats as possible together. So I'm going to lead the ten of clubs, see if I can encourage West to play the jack. Didn't, so I'm going to play the king. Ugh. Right. I've led the two. The robots normally very much wants to cover things. That suggests that if he really not, if he can't, he knows a spade gives up a trick. Thinks probably has the Queen of Hearts. So the fact they've switched to a club suggests they do have the Queen of Hearts, doesn't it? But this hand, the robot very would very often cover that ten of clubs with the jack. 
you get had it. Everything points to the Queen of Hearts being right, but Ten of Spades being there. I'm taking the figures. Oh well. So I shall get a bad score here. And now I'm going to give you the rest of the tricks. Queen of Hearts was there. And now I can cash the Queen of Cubs across the key. Okay. So this will be a bad score. 14%. So see, if I'd gone up with the Queen of Cubs, I would have made one no trump for plus 90, which is 67%. So you can see that there's a bit, as I said, that every trick makes a massive difference in um, the match points. So going up with the Queen would still have left me with some chances. Right. Let's see if we can recover from this. Fix and buy is 11. And so I got 16 points. Flattish hand, robot standard, dead simple, one no trump opening bid, and the robot passes it out. So lots of very flat hands, but we get a five of spades lead. Have they led from a four card suit? Um, partner doesn't have many points, so we've got 19 this time. Let's see if we can do better with 19 than we did with 21. So, um, We'll have a look and see. My basic plan is to uh, play on hearts, partly to create an entry to dummy and in order to play diamonds and partly because that doesn't give up any tricks that aren't the defenders as of right. The danger is I'm going to get a club switch, but I don't think playing diamonds is the optimum strategy. I'd like them to play diamonds, which they might do. That doesn't really tell us much, too much. Maybe I should have played the eight to try and find out a little more about what they had. But anyway, I'm going to play hearts. See what the opponents want to do. Oh, and they have played diamonds seeing at Dummies Week. Right. It's nice of them. Let's see if we can persuade them to carry on playing diamonds. We can, right. And yeah. I've carried on again. Right. So I've got two heart winners and some kind of spade threat. So now I can afford to throw a club away. And the diamonds are split three three. You see, I had five to start with, Dummy had two, so that made us seven and They've split three three um, by playing on the heart so very nicely, um, given them the opportunity to um, set them up. So I don't cashing them now means I have to throw cards away from the table. So I'm going to exit with the king of clubs now. Just create that trick, um, and that'll be. We'll see if they duck it. Actually, playing the queen conceivably is better. They might duck the queen. Oh, won't, but they have right now we're in an interesting position we will we want to play the hearts first no because there's no entry to dummy so i'm going to play two rounds diamonds Throwing a spade away from there. Uh, nine of spades turns up from there. Uh, I'm going to play the th three of diamonds, four of hearts appears. I'm going to play the eight of spades 
and dummy. Um, just keeping a nine of clubs there. because so I'm now going to cross my clubs gone away. Remember, they've still got ace jack 10 that are higher than nine. But they're going to be under some pressure when this last heart comes out. There's the jack gone. I'm going to throw the king of clubs and I'll throw the four of spades. I don't think they'd be squeezed. I think this hand's got club, the clubs and this hand's got two spades, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, oh, the other way. This hand had the spades and this hand had the club. Uh, it squeeze, but there was a chance to try and create it. But this time, we've got a lot more points. That's worth 82%. But generally, when you're playing one no trump, you want to try and play a suit that gives nothing extra away. And uh, maybe you'll persuade the opponents to play a suit for you. Um, so if we have a look at other tables, we assume you know, one diamond by south a few times, but uh, one no trumps plus two was the better score. Right, um, partners open one club. This hand's made an aggressive weak jump over call. Um, double here shows spades and hearts. Um, if partner has four spades, then we want to be in spades. Otherwise, we're going to play in hearts, I think, or conceivably no trumps since I've got a diamond stop. But we'll double. Partner says three clubs. So I've got a choice. I could bid three no trumps. What does three hearts mean here? So it's not forcing. Um, what does three diamonds mean? So this is forcing. And I'm still not showing my heart length. They don't have a four card major. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't say that. But they shouldn't bid. I've doubled showing the majors, and they should have bid a four card major here. But they have, yeah. You know, so they're showing a weak hand, long clubs. But I've only got one diamond stop. I think I'll bid three diamonds just to force them to say something because um, no trumps may be the right contract if they've got a diamond stop. If we've got a double stop in diamonds, they may be able to set up the clubs. Let's play three diamonds and see what happens. Three spades. So now it says they've got four plus spades. <sighs> Have they really? I think the robot lies, but. Well, they've obviously got better spades than hearts. I think we might have to play in the four, three spade fit. Um, I'm very tempted to bid three no trumps. Believe it to be the right contract, but. I'm going to bid four spades. I believe that the robots bid rubbish. Right, so I'm playing it from north. Here we are, as I thought, only three spades, but no diamonds stop. And I've got three hearts there with me. So um, they've cashed their ace of diamonds. So the answer here is going to be setting up the hearts. This hand bid diamonds, six diamonds, so it's likely to be short in hearts. Um, as I thought, we're playing in this three-two fit, four-three fit rather. So let's see what the robot's going to do. We'll hide the two of diamonds. Right, so. Jack of Club. Oh, they've led away from the Queen. Right, what do I want to do here? So this looks quite good. We've still got a diamond winner. We've still got a club control. Um, so if we can draw trump <coughs> trumps, um, we can effectively play in no trumps. So uh, oh, let's play the five of clubs. Right, so it's led away from the Queen of Clubs. So we may find that the spades are 
not bug five one here. Um, but if they're four two, I'm going to draw them all. I'm going to play west for long hearts because this hand appears to have turned up with three clubs at least and six diamonds. So there's a real danger that spades are not going to be, yeah, you know, we normally expect them to be no worse than four two. Um, but they may be. Anyway, let's see. No, they are 4 2, so I'm going to draw all the trumps. Yeah. And just throw in a club, keeping all the diamonds. Uh, I'm going to keep the diamond as an entry to my hand. And I've thrown another club. <coughs> well, and we know they've got the queen. So they had four clubs at least. So they now set up that club for me. So they had four clubs. Dummy had six, I had one. So there were two there. So the clubs are now set up. Um, so perhaps I shouldn't have thrown a club. But, um, so now I've only got one heart loser. The so this hand had six diamonds for their bid at least, four clubs, that's ten. They turned up with two spades, so they've only got one heart. So uh, and they may have none. So I'm going to play the king of hearts. And if it's the queen or jack, I'm going to finesse against the remaining honor in this hand. So this hand's got queen ten, queen jack of hearts still left, but and the eight's fallen, so can lead the two from this hand. They'll doubtless split their arms because they know what they're doing. Oh, I miscounted. Do I really? So did this hand not put the queen of clubs on? for some reason, um, but my hearts are now all good and the diamond is good. So I'm making 12 tricks. Um, let's claim our 12 tricks and see why I miscounted. I only had three clubs. This hand didn't put the queen of clubs on the jack, which was very foolish. Um, although it caused me to miscount the hand. So, anybody? Four spades plus two, four hearts plus two. Pretty much everybody's getting that. Um, the same 12 tricks. Um, would have been interesting, of course, in no trumps. We'd have made 12 tricks as well. Right, here we go. Board five. Partners opened one diamond. I've got everything else. So we just work our way up the four card suits. So I've got seven, 10, 15 points. Um, Robot's got less, but still open the bidding. So we'll bid one heart here. Two hearts. So they've got a fit. They've only got a singleton in their suit, but it may be only a three-card suit. We are interested in a slam here. What can I do? Probably needs good hearts. If I bid four diamonds, no, that just shows diamond support. It doesn't show the splinter. So if I bid two spades, what am I showing? Game try suit, forcing to three hearts. And if I bid three clubs, that's a game try suit, three plus clubs, four plus. Um, I'm more interested if they can help us in clubs um, rather than spades. So I'm going to bid three clubs for now, just to see. And they can't really help in clubs. Um, I don't want to go on. So we probably don't have a slam. So I'm just going to play in four hearts here. Right. Okay. And um, just as well, we're missing two aces, but and the king of hearts. 
So I want to be in my hand. Um, are the entries a particular problem? They are if hearts are four one rather than three two. Um, but I need to be in my hand really. There's no point in running any extra risks. So we'll play win with the queen um, in order to take this heart finesse. We, want, we definitely want to draw trumps and we definitely want to do it this way, even though <coughs> um, my finesses are always wrong. Anyway, the spade, are we going to suffer a rough here? No. King of spades. Right, so I'm now less worried about anybody roughing in front of me now. That... So I could get rid of my club losers if the diamonds were all good. So I could draw trumps, hope to set up the diamonds. I think um, we'll try and uh, I don't think we can draw trumps, throw the spades away, and then try throw. If we could draw two rounds of trumps ending in dummy play ace king, throw those clubs away, and then try and set up diamonds, but we wouldn't have enough entries, I don't think, to the table. So we'll play the diamonds first. Oh, and I've chosen not to take it right. So now that's different. Let's play a club and see what they want to do. They don't want to take the ace of clubs either. Right, so this is a bit different now. I'm very tempted to play the ace of spades and throw the club away and then try it and cross rough my way to a load more tricks. But I'm only going to lose those spades are good. I think I played I think I'm going to draw Trump play one of these and just see if Trumps are breaking. They're not. So that's why they're not doing that. So I've got five tricks so far. Undoubtedly one of my spades will get roughed, but um, I could throw a club away. This hand, this hand's trumping and probably looks like it has the ace of clubs as well. Um, so if it does trump, it's a bit stuffed to lead a diamond. I'm trying to draw one more trump, play the two spades, a bit rough, and then I have to play clubs from my hand, which we don't want to do. Like the ace of spades, throw that club away. They'll trump. I'll play another trump. The six, which I can win in dummy. And now I can lead the queen of diamonds. The ace comes there. I can rough. Play the jack of spades, throwing the diamond away. Nine of clubs. Well, I'll try the queen of clubs, but the ace is the jack's there. The ace is here. I'm going to run the ace of hearts, cash the jack of diamonds, and hope the ten falls. No, it doesn't. So I'm just making four hearts. But I thought that was reasonable. When I come back to so here, 67.9%. Um, the people went off, but three no trumps was a better contract. Um, ignoring the 4 4 heart fit. So presumably it went one diamond, three no trumps at those tables. 
Okay. Um, well, I got a nice 17 here with six hearts and four spades. Um, so this is an ideal hand to, to play it, to bid a reverse. So open one heart and subsequently bid spades, which will show you 16 plus points and longer hearts than spades, at least four spades and longer hearts. So this is a one heart opening bid. It's a slight case for worrying if partner passes one heart, you're missing a game and you could have opened. Yeah. So now the worry is that we're missing a game unless the East, will come. East comes to our rescue with a double, which ought to mean some spades. So we ought not to have a spade fit. Partner didn't bid spades. Right. An East passed originally has made a protective double. So I've got 17 points. This can't have, neither of these can have more than 11. It's 22 to go with 17. So partner could have a singleton one point. So I probably shouldn't just be punt four hearts here. I should just aim to play better. So I'm going to bid two hearts. I don't think I should bid two spades. It's possible we have a four full spade fit in this hand only has three spades. But two spades forces us most of the time to play in three hearts um, when partner doesn't have four aid fit. And we've probably got to lose three diamonds. Well, I think I'm going to bid two spades, which shows five, five hearts, four spades, 18 to 22 total points, less than 21 high card points. So they add, they add on points for the void. So this does describe my hand. Three clubs from there. Double from partner says, doesn't have anything, does have clubs. So they're saying, let's play for penalties. Um, I don't have a heart fit with us. I don't have a spade fit with us. But this is, we're vulnerable, and it's a part score hand. But really, are they going to have more than one trick in their hand? Are we going to make two hearts and two spades? We probably are. You know, there's probably not a stack of spades. So collecting 200 may be the best thing to do. Let's just try it. Let's hope two rounds of hearts stand up. Well. And the partner has a club trick, might have a diamond trick. Right. Well, a convention that a robot doesn't play, or a carding system, is that on the lead of the king, your partner should give a count, and on the lead of the ace, they should indicate their attitude. So here you want to know how many hearts partner has, not whether they've got any good hearts. But essentially, I'm going to. I hope to get another heart, which I expect to do, because partner has only got two, according to their bid. So, right, there's a there's a heart here which they can rough on table. Um, this hand's still got to have spades, because partner doesn't have four spades, doesn't even have three spades. So um, there's no rush to cash the ace of spades, which would set up the queen jack there. So I may as well see if my partner's got a diamond trick to go with club trick that they hope you hope they have seems not um and those will be throwing hearts here the spades where we have to take the ace um we may as well try another diamond or shall we try a spade here um Partners played high low in spades. Maybe he can rough up the spade. And if he can't, well, I don't, it look, didn't look like he had a diamond trick. The robot does indicate attitude. So it played a low diamond when I led a diamond. Let's see if there's a spade rough here. So that's got us our 200 points. Um, 
Let's see if there's 500 partners got another club trip. Because that's more than we could have got for any game. Partner had three hearts. Oh well. <laughs> um, so we could have made four hearts, but uh, this scores better. Five hundred seventy-eight percent. Must be a few others with it then. Well, some people got doubled in four hearts, which obviously scores better. Um, but for, we scored better than four hearts. All right. Okay, good job the robot lied to us. Here we've got a 4441.17 count. Well, don't do this at home. But with the robot, it's just two hearts. So the robot's got Jacoby transfer, it's got five plus spades. So now I'm the robot plays breaking the transfer and it will so because i've got four card support and a maximum i'm now expected to bid my doubleton that i've got outside of spades so i can now bid you see three hearts is a super accept i've got a doubleton in hearts and four or five spades 17 high card points that's what I got, except I got Singleton Heart, which is even better. So three hearts. So four hearts. We're all bidding hearts here, which we don't have. Four hearts is a retransfer um, telling me to bid spades. So I'm going to bid four spades here and see if they want to bid on towards slam. And they don't. So four spades seems the par contract. Right. So I've got a heart loser, quite a few diamond losers, club losers, um, and they left spades. So I'm going to not really know which I want to throw from my hand, probably a club on the heart. But I'm going to win the draw trumps and exit with a heart and see if they'll open the minor suits for me. Neat. Um, I need entry dummy because I want to lead from dummy mostly. So I'm going to come. I'm going to go up with the ace. Um, and try and keep things flexible. Uh, I'm going to play the three. Five. These are all equals. Going to play the queen. And that's drawn the trumps. So I'm going to lead the king of hearts now. They'll probably exit with the hearts because they think I've got a doubleton. So we'll just disabuse them of that by. Uh, Laying the club away. Now I'm going to lead a diamond. I think if I lead the nine, they'll probably cover it. So I'm going to lead the two in the hope that they'll play a card that's lower than the six or seven. Right. So I'm just covering that. This hand's now on lead. Whichever minor suit they lead would give me a trick. And if I had a heart, I would be able to rough in one hand and throw a loser from the other. So they'll give me a rough and a discard. So they've led that one. The four. <clears throat> I'll play the three just in case. Jack, queen. Right. So we don't know where the king is, but they'll just another go. Oh, king's there. Drop. But well, it's not still not looking good. I'm going to have to rough this one. 
Should I? Perhaps I shouldn't have done. That looks bad, actually. If I throw a club there, no, I've still got a club loser. So it all it looks like I may have three club losers now. I could have made sure of one off by not roughing that trick. Yes, sorry, I could have the opportunity for a very good play there. And uh, I'll show, try and show you what I could have done. Um, to get out for one off. Right. But you'll see that two off is 60%. What would one off have been? Getting out for one off, well, it wouldn't have been the 90% for the people who stopped in two spades, but it would certainly have been something like 80 odd percent. So let me see if I can show you um, this hand again. Um, um, Let's just look at the link. If I just open this hand again and show you what happens. This is how we got to four spades. Um, and if I just step through it, they led spades. I drew the second round of trumps, um, exited in hearts. They correctly came back the heart does anything else will give me a trick Put the club away now two of diamonds I ducked the hand diamond to this hand so now whatever they lead is going to give me a trick we saw four of diamonds and jack queen um cashed my ace of diamonds which unsurprisingly they didn't break so now I led the seven of diamonds, 10. And in practice, I roughed and that, and then lost three club tricks. But let me, if I had chosen not to rough and instead of discarded the club, um, cause I ended up two down on my line, but now, so instead of that, I can, I can show you here. I throw the four of clubs. This hand will throw the four of hearts away, for example. So now this hand's on lead, and I've only got the two clubs in dummy. If I play a club, then my king's going to win, um, and I've only got the one club loser. Um, and if I play a heart, I can throw a club away from dummy and rough in this hand, and I've still only got one club loser. So let me show you that. Um, so if they're here, I think you can see if they leave the ace of clubs, I've only got two clubs in W, my king will be good for the second round. If they leave a low club, my king will win and I'll just lose one. And if they choose to lead a heart, then I don't rough in dummy, I throw the club away. This hand plays here and I rough here. And I've still only got one club loser. So then I would only be one off. So that was a Poor play by me. I played too quickly, not thinking that I could actually do much better by um, discarding and not roughing. And, get, and then I would have got 80% instead of what I had. Um, and that's and just to say, that's a very interesting little thing that facility that BBO provides that if you um, want to look at a hand and look what could have happened, you can just come down the bottom here, um, choose export, choose hand viewer link, and that produces this little link that will bring up the whole of the hand. You can have use next to go through what actually happened, but any point you can click play and uh, just play the cards through. And in fact, double dummy will show you what you could do. So if I'd done, you could, I could have, if I hadn't been sure that that was the right play, if I play through to the point where I play the fourth round of diamonds, 
Now I can click the GIB button and it shows that if I rough, I'm two off, but if I discard a club, I'm only one off. So you can actually use the double dummy analyzer to show you what you could have done, what card would have been better. Um, right. You may find when you click next that um, it plays the whole trick rather than card by card. Um, that's here in the options. Um, so you can advance trick by trick or advance card by card. And um, I prefer in this one to advance uh, card by card. It makes looking it easier. That also changes it when you go through the play. Um, if I shut this down, you can, of course, go through the play here um, where it shows next trick. It shows you trick by trick. Um, so that's a useful thing for looking back at what you've done. Right, on to the last hand. 15 points, 5-5 five, five in the majors. Uh, well, we're going to open a spade. When you're 5-5, five, five, open the higher ranking suit, definitely, unless they're spades and clubs, in which case there's a debate about it. I'm on the side of the spades, but there uh, are arguments, particularly in Akol, for opening a club. I think in five card majors, um, strong in a trump system, such as the robot plays, then opening one spade is always right. In Akol. So they bid two spades. Well, I could bid three. I'm tempted just to bid four, but I'm going to bid three hearts on the way, which should be the game try suit. Is it? No, it shows three plus half on 16 to 17 total points forcing. Well, I do have 16 to 17 total points, but there's no point in bidding hearts unless it's a game try suit. So I'm just going to bid four spades here um, because there should be a play for it. And they've got a diamond, which is very nice. Um, this looks as though I really want to be in dummy. Um, King, is this a Simpleton diamond? It's possible, but I'd like to get to dummy um, to lead hearts. I'm really looking at a cross roughing. Let's play that. Would they have played the ace if they had it? The robot often does. I'm going to play the six. Maybe wrong, but um, this hand is now playing a spade. Do I want to play the jack? As he led away from the queen, he just thinks. That's Obviously, it thinks that spades the right play. Well, I'm going to play the jack because I've got some chances. Even the queen appears there. Now I need to play hearts. They're undoubtedly going to draw trumps to prevent me. Well, they're not. Well, it looks like I've got a heart and a spade to still to lose. Um, but I might pick up the ten of spades in the east hand. So I've got to lead the nine of hearts, which draws the ace as expected. And now another diamond. Right. This looks like one off. Because well, if this hand has the ten of spades, which is what I'm hoping, and a heart, then I can rough this heart. Right. So it doesn't have the ten of spades because it couldn't overrough the eight. So I have to play for the um, 
10 of spades to be in this hand and to be dropping in order to make the contract. And they have four hearts. So they they've got another heart in their hand, but I'm going to play the five of spades. Two, ace, six. So the 10 of spades is a winner here. Um, so there was never a way of making this hand with all the both the spades and the hearts wrong. I'd be interested to see whether anybody up how many other people bid four spades. Um, yep, I'm going to give them their spade trick. And the ace of club. Yeah. Oof. Last heart. And the ace of clubs was wrong as well. So in Rio, there was no way to do it. And did that take me out of first place? Um, well, one off for 78%. So let's see, can it get the tournament results? There we are. No, kept me well in first place. So nobody scored that much. Um, so apart from my mistake on that second board, um, which I don't know that I have the evidence to and particularly, um, particularly get the right answer, although apart from going with the room, as it were, um, I got a reasonably good scores throughout. I hope that's been interesting. I hope that you can see the way in which you can use BBO to check your line of play on any particular hand, see how you can do better. Um, and remember, if this has been useful, please click the like button and I'll see you next week.